so guys here is the GLE 53 Formatic Plus so this is the SUV variant as you can see both these wheels look incredible so if you press this button the heating will continue and if you have this one this is auxiliary heating but you need more gas for this one if I press this it says uh, it's not functional inoperative and that's because you don't have enough fuel so you need to have more than a quarter of the tank to work it so yeah that's that but you can use this rest feature and then the car will blow hot air until the moment when the engine will be not uh, enough hot to produce a residual engine uh, heat so yeah that's uh, about it I want to show you here the MVUX system you can set a lot of things here in this car if you press here this uh, home button you can put this into the classic mode and this is like a blue team notice we have uh, here also ambient lights so that's uh, really really great and we can put this also in the sport and because this is AMG it has also super sport so this is a super sport here we have uh, electric seats fully electric adjustable seats with memory functions carbon fiber trim and this is seat heating for three levels and seat ventilation also three levels and if you press this you can operate the passenger seat so you can uh, operate it that's pretty cool Burmester sound system and we have uh, settings for lights here automatic full uh, normal beam this is auto for multi beams you can release the parking brake if you are being towed on the trailer rear fog light and with this you control the brightness here on the screen so we have uh, this is actually heated here so it's very hot and really really comfortable you can lock the car it has like uh, these locks and this is also leather so pretty pretty cool here AMG writing here we have these hotkeys so you can press on the display and it will change what is on the display so you can actually lower the car with the button here you have AMG dynamics you can turn the traction control off and this is for the suspension and exhaust you can see here also how it's changing and this is for the gearbox you can put it in manual automatic this is auto start stop you can lower it and yeah pretty pretty cool here you have a dynamic select select so this is for the driving modes so you can change it up so here from uh, individual to, so the first one is uh, sand then you have a uh, trail slippery mode individual mode comfort sport and sport plus race mode is only in 63 v8 variants here we have a sticker how to run in the engine properly how to brake in the engine so really really nice uh, interior here ambient lighting so you have these two digital panels they are quite large and uh, you can see everything on these screens we have also here electric uh, button for the steering wheel 
and you can move it forward, backwards, up and down. And on this middle display you can operate it here with uh, this touch area here with the home button and this is like a track, like a touchpad, yeah. Touchpad, trackpad, this small black button. So it's pretty fast, pretty responsive. And we, we can operate it also here with this, uh, this is like on the, on the notebook, so the laptop. So the first, very, very responsive as you can see. So here you can see a bunch of stuff. So if you also, you can operate it with this left side. So it's very intuitive. You have assistance here for the Distronic and Distronic Plus. You can select here how far away you want to be from the car in front of you. And you can see also telephone here, navigation, AMG performance, you can see the temperatures. And if you scroll it like a down, you can see sub menus here. So for the G-forces, here we have settings of the car, kilowatts, newton meters, boost, and a ref counter. If you drive, you would see here your gear. So trip. You have also these sub menus here, like from the reset, and you can put it on full screen. Pretty enjoyable. You can see here small uh, car how it drives to the destination animation is just fantastic on this uh, this place also it's very sharp so you have uh, these styles as I showed you and we have also here service menu so here you had the error message you can have a tire pressure tire temperature coolant level engine oil level consumption information and you can see and set up what is uh, in the middle with this and also if you like a swipe to the side you can see what is on the left and you can change it up as well from consumption trip itinerary you can see here the inclines of the car if you are in like terrain so this car is no joke And here we can see the speed. And on the uh, right side, we can see the ref counter. And also you can swipe here and select what is showcased here. So you can have a tire pressure, tire temperature, temperature of the engine and gearbox, kilowatts, newton meters. These are settings of uh, Powertrain, gearbox, AMG Dynamics, suspension and uh, exhaust, G-forces, consumption, and this is the map. And we have formatic system, so you can see which part uh, is working of the formatic. Front axle, rear axle, and between the wheels, how much each wheel is using uh, in real time. And of course we can see here the levels of the suspension so if I put it uh, back up then it should rise but yeah we need to start the car for it to work I think because it's not doing anything so I right, right now I'm in the lowest with the Sport Plus so pretty pretty I like it a lot it's very roomy here you have a lot of space here and here in the middle display you can see also, this is a touch. If you prefer to touch the screen, it's touch screen. So, yeah, depends what kind of way of operating do you like. You can close this really nice. And you have these like uh, grab handles, which are illuminated. So here, with the middle display, you can see media comfort AMG trackpad so you can monitor more than 50 or 60 uh, uh, all kinds of parameters drag race telemetry if you drive on a circuit which probably many people want uh, would not do with this uh, maybe with 63 but yeah this is more like a family car with a performance 
So we have here dynamic select. So you can see individual configuration of the individual mode. So you can put, for example, the engine on the sport and suspension on the soft. Here in vehicle, we can see uh, how much power is uh, going through each wheel. And we can see also with the engine engine output in uh, kilowatts, engine torque and transmission oil temperature, engine oil temperature. In real life, it, the reflection of the screen is a little bit less than on the camera, but it's there. But it's uh, not something uh, would make you feel like you can't uh, read the information on the screen. So definitely is a great, great car. So Mercedes Me and Apps, you can link it up your smartphone and turn on the heating, for example, uh, before your departure. And here in the settings, we have a bunch of settings. We have a quick access. So you have a bunch of stuff here. You can also uh, turn on or off the head-up display, uh, hill descent uh, control, hill descent assist. So you can also, here you have a washer, uh, automatic washing uh, mode for, yeah, for washing. And this Tronic Plus. We have uh, active lane keeping assist park tronic so this car can park automatically uh, stop and go traffic so so many so many things here camera and parking uh, you can set the warning tone traffic sign assist so many assist in this car extension blind Active point assist, active lane, so this can change also lanes on the highway uh, without you uh, doing that. So yeah, it's pretty like a autonomy two level. In the vehicle, you can see winter tire limit. So winter tires can't go like a full speed, so you can set here the limit. You have panel heating, what I showed you here. So uh, the middle panel and also the side panels uh, are heating up. Belt adjustment, acoustic lock so the car will beep. Automatic locking. After you move uh, forward the car will lock. You can fold the mirrors. So every function you like uh, pre-select it will show you. Okay, so if you press it, so it's self-explanatory. So very very intuitive and uh, here with the lights, you have ambient lighting, you can dip beams for left side, right side traffic. So if you go from UK or to the UK, exterior light shadow. So if you uh, lock the car and walk away, how uh, long it should be on. And throughout lighting, so pretty, pretty cool. Uh, Mercedes uh, illuminated. Yeah, so here is a voice assistant. Uh, Linguatronic system. What can I do for you? What's the temperature outside? The outside temperature is 1.5 degrees Celsius. Hi, Mercedes. How may I help you? How are what you? What can I do for you? How are you? Could you repeat your input, please? Uh, close the sunroof. What would you like to do? Close the sun blind. I'm closing the roller sun blinds. Hi Mercedes. How may I help you? Open the sun blind. Okay, I'm opening the roller sun blinds. So that's pretty cool. So, here in the middle we have these illuminated handles. Also, I want to show you here. The ambient lighting on uh, different colors. So, we have here 64 single colors. And also 10 multicolor options. 
So if we press multicolor, you can see here ocean blue, purple sky. So let's let's see. So this is a purple sky. I will just back a little so you can see better. So ambient lighting goes here, here, here in the middle, and also in foot area. Yes, you can see. And also this, and also uh, in the back and the seats as well so everywhere it's everywhere and also we can check out the purple sky is like a purple this is better during uh, night but even here like it's overcast now you can see and you can see pretty nicely the, the lights here so this is a red moon one of my favorite it's like a pink with the blue here Pretty, pretty nice ambient lighting. Fantastic. Looks super modern and fire red. So just uh, incredible here. Dawn blue, sunny yellow, jungle green, glacier blue, color max, color flash. So this will uh, change. So pretty pretty great you have also light uh, underneath the display that's pretty pretty nice so here in the system you can see styles and display super sport display brightness controls all kinds of stuff and you can hear in the AC how it's working So pretty, pretty modern, super modern. So yeah, that's uh, about this. You can see also here the carbon fiber trim. You can customize this car in a lot of different ways. Here we have uh, wireless charging for a phone. Two cup holders, also ambient light. You can warm and cool here the drink. So see, this is uh, warming up and this is cooling. This is just to rest your uh, palm here when we are operating the display uh, because the gearbox is here. here. And we have here, as I showed you, you have an exhaust button here if you want. You can also operate it here. And this is for the suspension. So yeah, pretty cool you have here. And some hotkeys for Parktronic, uh, parking, dynamic select. So you can change mo mode of the drive uh, also here, but also here. So it's up to you where you will change it. And on this side you have navigation, uh, uh, radio, media, telephone. So these are AMG seats, very nice with Dynamica and uh, AMG. Nappa leather here. This is very very soft this uh, headrest and on top we have a huge mirror with the light and you have a handle here microphone so you can call this is for the uh, sand blind you can also open it for the ventilation like here or if you press it Towards back, you can open it fully for uh, fresh air. I think, yes, okay. So, this is, yeah, this is maximum. It's like, yeah, nice uh, fresh air here. And if you want to close it, then just press and it will close. If you press here, you will open the middle armrest. You have a USB-C port there, and it's quite deep and large. You can put many stuff there. AMG logo here on the seats. Uh, they are very, very comfortable. You have uh, here a little dot, so it's ventilated for ventilation. AMG floor mats, and these uh, door packets are really, really huge. 
so you can put a water bottle here no issue you can open the boot and also the tow hook here you have uh, for the windows buttons here so pretty pretty great comfort and we have also the head-up display so I can show you maybe well, it's not flashing in real life just on the camera and you can select and see a bunch of stuff on the head-up display All right guys, so I set the seat in a way how I would drive and let's check out the rear seats and also if you uh, lock the car and close it you can see the invitation so this is like a front of the car during uh, night so pretty pretty cool so let's check out how this car looks from the rear and also how I fit there I 186 centimeters or 6 feet and between 1 and 2 inch so we can see carbon fiber here the decor Burmester sound system and these are the rear seats you can lower here the middle armrest with the cup holders if you press here and you can open this as well to have more storage space so really really wide here as you can see and here actually you can put this away I think like this and here you have for the child seat the attachments okay you can just snap it into the place so we can see Dynamica here, it's like a Alcantara material and this is AMG Napa leather in black and ambient lighting is also here in the strap in the seats this is like a gloss black dark wood you can also have here the TV displays for the entertainment and here we can see some storage and also I will show you that in a second you can also see here is enough space for a bottle AMG illuminated door trim is also here in the, in the front so you can see here so a lot of space here so I jump here This does have soft close, you can try. Yes. Okay. So uh, I put the driver's seat as I would drive in the lowest setting possible. I have here here still space to put feet under in the seat. I have boots now because it's winter, but uh, yeah, very comfortable here. Yeah, really, really nice actually. I'm surprised. So here I can put my arm and on the middle armrest here we can see the AC so currently is on the auto you can put it on different fan levels and a uh, passenger has also uh, each temperature own temperature so pretty cool you can have it on auto or you can just put on your feet everywhere so pretty pretty cool two vents you can operate them Just close it open it here you can have also for the entertainment system uh, but yeah very very nice a lot of room actually here for my knees and if i lean my leg here it's comfortable this is really really nice also wrapped in leather the doors also these seats are electric rear seats which is not very often the case with the vehicles so you can move these seats and then expand or the boot capacity so if i put this forward let's see 
So this is maximum level forward and I uh, I barely, if I sit like this, relaxed, I still have space here. So yeah, that's great. I'm uh, more than average adult person. So in terms of my size, so that's uh, fantastic. You can have also middle seat here for child or for three smaller adults. So pretty, pretty cool here. Also, keep in mind here you have a microphone, so you can call all of you. And you can see here how the interior looks from the rear seat. Pretty, pretty cool. So I'm really a fan of this car from the rear passenger standpoint. Heated seats, yeah. Vent is here. You can put the jacket here, also here if you press. You have a light for reading or stuff. And the handle here is also present. So fantastic. So guys, in terms of the headspace, I have uh, like this space. So I think it's enough. I'm 186 centimeters or six feet and between one and two inch. I can uh, rest my head here on the headrest. I can actually put it up electrically so that's amazing not often the case so yeah really really comfortable here in the jelly and for kids this is super spacious so yeah great uh, family time here in the GLE and let's drive this a little bit forward I want to show you how this looks from the rear and you can see here the cameras how they work can see what the car sees in front 360 view high definition cameras so pretty pretty amazing so from the rear you can open and close the boot here with this button also tow hook is electrical we have very nice design here with the GLE 53 And here is the boot space, so it's pretty large. I will put the liters and cubic feet on the screen. So pretty, pretty large. And underneath you have a space. I think you can get a spare tire, I'm not sure. And you have tire kit and first aid kit. So maybe this can go even like uh, so yeah this is not going lower this is the lowest and here you can put down uh, the seats okay so this is electric check this out how convenient is this amazing for the family and you can see ambient lighting in the at the rear seats and you can put it back also electrically so no uh, harsh sound when the seats are going down or up everything is super smooth also driver uh, driver seat moves forward if it's necessary for the seats to lower so it's a smart system also passenger seat very very nice you can put the car down if you need uh, that to load some uh, heavy objects so it's super super useful and you can put here also the tow hook so that's super convenient you can tow what do you want basically also it should have like a towing assist the trailer assist okay and you can close it electrically super convenient so hey guys that's it for this video if you liked it then give this video a like subscribe to the channel to see more videos like this one and also driving videos etc and motor show reviews etc etc so guys take care and have a wonderful day